Hey everyone, welcome to Electrofan. It's been a while since I have made any video on HTM32, but today I'll explain you how serial communication can be implemented on HTM32. In my previous video, I have explained how UART transmit can be implemented. In this video, I'll explain you specifically how receive part can be done. Uh, also, my previous video were on uh, Nucleo L152RE. Now, there's some issue with that board. So, I have a new board over here, which is F446RE. The APIs and the concept of serial communication remains the same. It's just the board uh, that is different. So, we'll see that in a while. Hey everyone, so I start with uh, stm 32 cube mx which is a code generator which initializes all the peripherals as we assign. I'll go on to board selector. So in my previous video when I was explaining with cube mx, I'm using the old version but since I have updated everything, so I'm, I'm gonna continue my videos with this new version. So it's pretty much new for me also. I'm exploring it while teaching as well. So just selecting the board and uh, initializing all the peripherals by default, but I don't need that. So I clear all the pinouts over here. Uh, I need the crystal, the high speed crystal over here. And uh, then I need connectivity. So, as we know that UART2 is by default connected via USB in STM Nucleo development kits, which we have seen in previous videos as well. I'll have this asynchronous. I'll have the parameters over here, 9600. I'll go to user constant. I'll enable this interrupt because it will be useful when we are receiving it and uh, I'll add a DMS setting for receive so just expanding this have it circular the reason I have it circular is because we don't want the memory to fill up uh, just in normal mode uh, by character by character or uh, bit by bit so we need to have a limited amount of memory. So that is the reason circular. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. I'll have my project manager. I'll select my ID. I'll name UART RX F446 RE. And, uh, and then again on code generator, copy all necessary files. And then I'll generate it. I'll open my project. I'll come to main. So everything is done already for us. Basically, what I mean by that is some initialization, some uh, GPI initializations, and system initializations, and peripheral initialization is always done. I'll have uh, some variable over here. Uh, let's say TX data first. And then I'll have RX data for two bytes I'll come over here I'll just print a normal uh, transmit statement on my terminal to check if everything is working it will be hal uart transmit so there are a lot of transmit I'll use a normal transmit it takes a couple of parameters first is the handle type which is uart2 for us because we are using UART2. Then what actually we want to print. Then size of that. And the timeout. So this will basically print something on our terminal. I'll just compile it. 
I will connect my board as well in the meantime. And then I load that on my board. I will open Teratom over here. And I will just press reset. So, okay. So now we have something getting print on a terminal from the USB on 9600 baud red now we'll see how we can receive something so there are many ways of doing that one of the ways normal receive uh, it can also be done using dma i'll show you both of the uh, ways so you must be wondering how i got this and how i know this so you can just go into the functions scroll it down to halua.c and these are all the APIs that we can use to implement UART. So I'll use some of those from here. We have this receive, we have receive DMA and we have receive underscore ID. So this is a normal receive. This is receive using DMA, which means it directly goes to the memory and this is receive using interrupt. So we'll see the receive over here. I'll just take this and have it in my while loop. So hal you are underscore receive. What it basically takes is the handle type def rx data and uh, what was the other parameter size and timeout. So it will be size of Rx data and timeout. So what this basically will do is it will receive a character and store it in our Rx data buffer, which we have just created. And we'll just check that. I'll just open my debug terminal because we want to monitor that buffer. I'll scroll it up. I'll add this to my watch window. I'll expand this a little bit. And now I'll open my terminal. I clear this and I'll start. So as you can see, currently it's zero over here. Now I'm pressing H. So we are getting H. I'm pressing Z. We are getting Z. So this way you can receive a character using the receive api now we'll see how the same can be implemented using dma so let's i'll just remove this now what we were doing in this receive is it was in polling mode that means it is blocking the uh, MCU to be in that uh, state to continue continuously stay on receive but we don't want that in real life scenarios what we want that is something that can be controlled via interrupt or something like that so we'll see how we can implement that DMA so we are looking for receive DMA we have this so it's the handle type def it's the data and it's the size so what i'll do is i'll try to read hello hello is of five characters but with a uh, carrier return and new line it becomes seven characters so what i'll do over here is i'll have this seven i'll scroll it down and here i'll have this function now what this does is it takes type def, it takes rx data and it takes size of rx data. But we are not done over here. We need to have something as an enter up which triggers this DMA. So we'll use this receive complete callback. What basically it does is it receives transfer complete callbacks which means it comes over here and when you receive exactly seven characters so i'll just copy this completely 
I'll scroll it down and this is our section the reason I am having all of my code in this code begin and code end is because if I make any changes with my code generator I don't want my code to be uh, lost or gone so make sure it's always inside the blog which is mentioned by the code generator <coughs> sorry now what this does is when you have exactly seven characters it will come in this loop and it will read the data so what we'll do is what we read we also want it to be printed so that we know that okay we are able to read it and we are able to see the same amount of data so instead of tx it will be rx it will be rx so i think we are good over here i'll just compile this and I'll upload this. I'll open real terminal. I'll select half duplex. I'll select the right border and it's on 13. I'll change then I'll come in send. I'll select the carrier return and LF and then I'll type hello over here and I'll send that so as you can see I'm getting something over here which means we are able to receive something but it is not printing so what I'll do is I'll come I'll open it again I'll clear it and then I'll do it. So it turned out that I had to press reset on my board so that I'm getting that in yellow as well. So what basically it means over here is this hello is something I am sending and this is he this hello is something that my board is able to read it, store it in a buffer and then print it with this transmit when the receive is complete. So we can have hi, it won't come. It misses it sometime. So when we get exact seven characters, this will read it. And if we don't get, it might read it sometime. It might not read it sometime because this is some of the behavior I have been noticing. If you guys find any uh, better thing for this, just let me know in the comment section. But uh, this is all about how you can receive uh, using uh, in STM32 using the serial communication UART2. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, understood everything. Uh, if you have any doubts, you can just ask me in the comment section below. I'll, I'll try to answer all of them. Till then, take care. Thank you.